this nostalgia treat here chocolate fountain on Amazon and it comes in this box This circular, uh, I don't know what you call this, and then this one, and this one. So I already tried it, so that's why it's wet. I put a water in it. I just want to see if it's working. And so we're going to set it up. First, we're going to have to put this, um, go this. And this one, you have to put this in place. Let me see. Yep, so this one has a, a hole to make it like secure. You're gonna have to wash it properly. This is new, and you need to wash it properly. Secure or not, because actually, look at that. This thing is long enough to secure the whole uh, spiral thing, and there you go have to push it and for this you're gonna have to put it like this so it will stop I don't know how to like tighten it it just stop it just maybe the size of this is perfectly fit in this one now just stop like that and next actually yeah it has this thing to make it level and for this you see this part right here so I do push it carefully so I can tell you now it's super small like the pringles and additional Maybe three or four inches or five five inches more all right so we're gonna try it I'm gonna plug, plug this thing and here so there's off heat and heat motor so for the heat we're just gonna let this chocolate fountain uh, warm for like two to three minutes that's what it says in the instruction and then so while it's heating up you have to warm or melt your chocolate in the microwave or in the boiler a double boiler and then after that when for example it's already um, hot enough or warm enough you have to turn it to heat motor It makes sound or it's a little noisy but it's you know it's chocolate fountain that's normal See? and then when you have the chocolate ready you're just gonna pour everything here make sure that it's really melted it's not too thick it's like thin but not too watery watery but it's just thin enough to make it close evenly i'm gonna show you how it's gonna work 
on Christmas Eve because I bought this for Christmas Eve. And I'm gonna put the link below in Amazon on where I bought this. So just to remove, I mean, to clean it up, you have to wait because it's gonna be hot. Not hot, but it says in the instructions, it's gonna be very hot. I mean, it could be very hot, but I don't think so. It's not gonna be so hot. So you're just gonna take this apart, wash them, um, don't uh, put in dishwasher, it says, and then just take this thing and this thing and pour the leftover chocolate. Well, you have to unplug it first, sorry. You have to unplug it first and pour whatever left and rinse a little bit and just wipe it out but if you are if you want really clean clean make sure that you're not gonna mess up the motor or the electric thing inside because it's already attached here the big the big chocolate fountains you can de detach this thing but this one is super small so i don't know maybe it's built like this Doing it in a double boiler. So I'm using this choco maker, no fountain formula, no oil needed. I got this from one. So already have melted the chocolate, and let's see. It says you have to put here at the bottom. I already reheated. Okay. Okay, let's try this first. And from heat, we're gonna do the heat motor. Oh my goodness! Look at the chocolate fountain! It works! 